Right now, a housing crisis in Beloit. What city officials and some recent home buyers are saying about the housing market? Also, it's officially the holiday season at the state capitol. Why this year's tree is going by the name Mr. Frank. And later, what does Madison sound like? How a new feature on the app Spotify is connecting people to the city through music. You're watching News Tree now at 6. We begin in Rock County where an ongoing housing shortage continues to affect the Beloit community. Our Matty Heimsch spoke to city officials and home buyers about why demand is so high. Matty? Eric Charlotte, the short answer is economic development in Beloit has outpaced residential growth. One home buyer I talked to about the market told me he almost gave up. When Beloit residents Sean and Veronica Chisholm got married in 1998, they promised they would be homeowners one day. Last summer, they bought their first house. Like, this is something that I promised her when we moved here. That's I'm going to get you a house, but I don't know when. I don't know when I'm going to get you a house, but I'm going to get you a house. And so it took, it took a long time. It took a long time. It almost gave up. The Chisholm say after saving for decades, paying off debts, and working with housing aid organizations, they're grateful to be homeowners. Yeah, the program. I love my house. I yeah. wouldn't give it up for nothing. Yeah, it's, it's still, I like I pinch myself sometimes when I still pull up to my house. One of the organizations the couple worked with was Axe Housing, a Beloit nonprofit that assists lower income buyers on their journey to ownership. Seen over the last few years here is, it's tough to sort of keep our promise and, and help them find that house because the inventory is so limited. Kelly Andrew of Axe Housing says the Chisholms are a success story, but there's still a significant lack of inventory for families in Beloit. According to the Greater Beloit Economic Development Corporation, job growth in the city measured 10.5% over the last decade, but the population hasn't grown. We have not produced enough units to keep up with all the jobs that have been created here. City officials in Beloit say part of the problem is construction companies prefer to build in Madison and Rockford instead of Beloit. To address those issues, Beloit officials told me they're working on initiatives to incentivize building and assist home buyers in the area. Two people are dead after a crash in rural Adams County on Wednesday. Deputies and paramedics were called to the intersection of County Highway M and County Highway G in the township of Lincoln for a report of a two-vehicle crash. An 83-year-old man and woman were found unconscious in one of the vehicles. James Cronschnabel died at the scene from his injuries. Jane Cronschnabel died from her injuries at a hospital. The driver of the other vehicle involved in the crash sustained minor injuries and was taken to a hospital by ambulance. Monona police are searching for a driver who they say fled a traffic stop yesterday. The suspect was pulled over about 2.45 Thursday morning after Monona police say he ran a red light along Southtown Drive. The driver initially stopped, but as the officer approached the vehicle, the driver sped off. It was last seen traveling southbound on County, County Road MM. Police are looking for a silver 2004 to 2007 Cadillac CTS sedan with black steel aftermarket rims. Anyone with information is urged to call Monona Police. More mild temperatures going into the weekend. Let's check your first one forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? But also a little snow, too. In fact, it's falling right now. Just mainly flurries here in the backyard. But there was some light snow earlier in Madison. Areas farther to the south have seen a little steadier light snow through the uh, afternoon. As we check out the time lapse from the WISC-TV Skycam, clouds for much of the day, but we didn't start getting rain and snow here until late in the afternoon and then uh, just some snow showers hours continuing into the evening. Now, on high resolution radar with uh, visibilities overlaid on top, you can see the bands of more persistent snow starting to shift east of Madison. A few places seeing visibilities down to about one to two miles. Uh, a little wider view with the temperatures superimposed shows those temperatures at or above freezing. So some roads are getting a little bit of snow to stick, but other areas are seeing that snow melt. And six hour future track radar shows that most of the snow should be over with uh, over the next few hours. And mainly it'll be south and east of Madison. Low temperatures this morning, mid 20s in Madison, colder to the north, only teens, lower teens up toward Camp Douglas, but Janesville only dropped to 32. High temperatures today, mid to upper 30s. Madison topped out at 35, Janesville at 37. Right now, temperatures are in the low to mid 30s. A lot of it depends on whether or not you're getting precipitation. That's cooling temperatures down by a degree or two, like in Madison and McFarland, temperatures at 32. Or as far to the west, it's 34 in Cross Plains and Mount Horeb. Look for skies to be mostly cloudy this evening. The snow showers and flurries mainly southeast of Madison gradually starting to wind down. Temperatures holding nearly steady in the lower 30s. Later on, 
on. I'll take a look at a forecast that includes another round of some light snow later tomorrow night into Sunday. Gary, thank you. Madison officials say Metro Transit provided more than a million rides in the Madison area in October. That's the first time since before the pandemic the transit system has reached that monthly threshold. The total is also the highest monthly ridership since February of 2020. That's despite Metro Transit no longer transporting middle school students to class. Still, City officials have acknowledged the increased ridership and redesign have posed some problems for riders. A number of changes are set to take effect on Sunday to speed up service, including adding buses on key routes and shuttering 15 bus stops in parts of Madison. Well, heads up for those of you who use the parking garages in Madison. The Madison Parking Division is increasing rates at some of them starting next year. Officials say the hikes will help pay for facility maintenance and ensure all parking structures are safe and conformable. Some of the garages include the state Street Capitol and Campus Garages, Overture Center Garage, and the Wilson Lot. This is the first rate increase since 2018. You can find a full list of the rate hikes for each garage at channel3000.com. The Capitol Rotunda's holiday tree is all lit up now for the season. A lighting ceremony held earlier in the day, but this tree does also come with a story. Meet Mr. Frank. This 30-foot balsam fir comes to us from Rhinelander. There it is. The name is in memory of Frank Magnus, an Army veteran who served from 1942 to 1945. Frank served as the town clerk in Harrison for nearly 50 years and was also a member of the Lincoln County Board for 20 years. When Frank passed away in 2005, his wife Grace bought a tree in his memory and had it planted in their front yard. When the state of Wisconsin put out its call for the 2023 holiday tree, Frank's family thought it was the perfect opportunity for Frank to serve once again. Frank Magnus served his town, his county, and his country. And now here he is at the state level. This year's holiday tree theme is 175 years of Wisconsinites. It's decorated with ornaments donated from people all across the state. Well, are you still eating leftover turkey from Thanksgiving? If you are, you may want to stop. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, refrigerated leftovers can safely be eaten within four days. That means Monday was the last day you could safely eat the food. But if you froze your leftovers, then you're good. The USDA says frozen food stays safe indefinitely. However, the agency also says they will be of best quality from two to six months. The Wisconsin Department of Egg Trade and Consumer Protection says it has identified yet another case of bird flu in Wisconsin, the fifth case identified since November 17th. This newest case identified in a commercial flock up in Barron County. Last week, three cases were identified in commercial flocks in Trempolo County. Last year, a spike in bird flu cases statewide led to the depopulation of over 2 million birds. There's no immediate public health concern for humans. If you were not able to get a deer over the gun hunting season, you still have plenty of chances before next year. Some opportunities include muzzle loader season, which is happening now and ends on December 6th. Then from December 7th to the 10th, there will be a statewide antlerless only hunt. Meanwhile, archery and crossbow seasons remain open statewide through January 7th. Coming up on News 3 Now at 6, how federal regulators are proposing to make baby lounge safer. Plus, the Midwest's largest ski swap takes place in Madison this weekend. You can find the best deals just ahead. Black Friday deals have been extended for one final week at Furniture and Appliance Mart. It's your last chance to save up to 43% off top brand appliances while they last. Plus low monthly payments with special interest financing on appliances at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. Saving money right now at Menards. Cut the cord and turbocharge your next project with Bosch Cordless Power Tools. They're designed to tackle the toughest jobs. Rip, cut, drill, and drive. Faster charging speeds. Longer run times and lasting durability. Pick up this 18-volt compact drill kit for $98.97. Cut the cost without cutting corners and grab the 18-volt cordless circular saw or reciprocating saw. Now just $99 each at Menards. Save big money at Menards. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, iCare's dual eligible special needs plans help you get both care and coverage. Benefits include $1,800 per year to pay for eligible groceries and over-the-counter items. Whatever you don't spend carries over each month. Receive a $4,000 a year dental allowance and pay nothing for covered prescriptions all year long, even the brand name ones. Call us today and a licensed sales agent will help you find out if you're eligible. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. 
Never have I ever toured in a rock band. Yep, I play a mean air guitar. Never have I ever burnt a holiday dinner. <laughs> I have no reservations about making reservations. Never have I ever put literally every single item in our store on sale, even the items that never go on sale. Every item? Oh, come on. Join us now through December 24th for our never on sale sale. Only at Rogers and Holland's. Black Friday deals have been extended for one final week at Ashley. It's your last chance to save up to 65% off doorbusters and special deals on our hottest look store-wide. Plus special interest financing for six long years with low monthly payments only at Ashley. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Federal safety regulators are pushing ahead in their efforts to make baby loungers safer. They are proposing a major redesign of the products following 79 deaths connected with their use. Well, earlier this week, the Consumer Product Safety Commission voted to adopt those recommendations which would require manufacturers to make all lounger surfaces sufficiently firm to reduce the risk of entrapment and suffocation. The agency will decide whether to amend its proposal after a 60-day public comment period. Attention all skiers and snowboarders. The 59th annual Hoofer Ski and Snowboard Resale will take place at Union South over the weekend. The Midwest's largest ski swap. The event gives community members the chance to buy new and used used winter gear just as the season gets underway. Items for sale will include skis, snowboards, snowshoes, apparel, and more from top brands, but also community contributions. So the public check-in part where the public brings stuff is a huge part of our sale and brings in a lot of money and a lot of people too because that stuff is really marked down because people are just trying to get rid of it. So you can find some really, really good deals, especially on the public items. Doors open at 7 a.m. tomorrow, but the resale won't start till 8. Those interested in selling their gently used gear can bring up to 10 items per person to be appraised by Hofer Ski. Additionally, the Hofer Alpine and Nordic Ski teams will actually be offering ski and snowboard tuning services at the event starting at just $15. When we come back, the Clean Lakes Alliance keeping a close eye on Lake Mendota, how you can join in, maybe get some money out of it. Plus, it's a new feature showing which places have similar taste in music compared to Madison. Find out which artist was the most popular. Plus, cloudy weekend ahead, maybe some snow. Gary's complete forecast after a short break. I'd love to thank everyone at Gruber for taking time and being patient with me. Thank you. I'm just really, really grateful. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Gruber, thanks. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Thank you very much. This time of year, we gather, we celebrate, and we remember the things that matter most. For us, that's you. And you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care because the way you feel matters. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health. Know how much you matter to this world. McCann Furniture is closing its doors forever. The owners are retiring. It's the final days of our going out of business sale. After 119 years, our final day is December 17th. Everything in the store must be sold. Make us an offer on quality name brand furniture, including Amish, dining room and bedroom sets, recliners, upholstery, and mattresses. Free financing, special sale hours. Time is running out, so hurry in today to the final days going out of business sale at McGann Furniture. Downtown Baraboo. You'll be glad you did. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kwwf.org. Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. For over 35 years, Gruber Law Offices has had one goal 
to provide top-notch legal services. One call, one call, one call, one call, that's all. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Do you know the top artists you stream this year on Spotify? Some people around the country were learning about Madison for the first time because of the popular streaming app's Year in Review. Our Catherine Merck shows us what Madison sounds like. This week, Spotify Wrapped came out, and this year a new feature shows similar places where people are listening just like you. Kind of makes you wonder, how does Madison sound? It says College Station USA. I was from California for my location. College Station USA. Did you get Madison as your sound town on your Spotify wrapped? My kids also got Madison as their sort of like they listen the same as people in Madison. Spotify users from across the globe took to social media to figure out what they had in common. Some are a little bit more disappointed than others to get the city of Madison. One user saying, quote, Everybody got Berkeley, Burlington, and Bozeman on their Spotify wrapped, but I got Madison, Wisconsin. Another saying, I feel left out of the cool, sexy Spotify town assignments. I got Madison, Wisconsin. We were sort of like analyzing how, how uh, our tastes were. It was fun. Last year was the first year my kids got into it. So this year they've tried to make a conscious effort to have like better stats, you know. Jeremy Morris is a media and cultural studies professor at UW-Madison. He tells me the app is making these assumptions of where you live based on your information from the streaming service. It's an aggregate batch of data that they're looking at, right? So they can't do necessarily too much fine-tuned stuff, but they can say, okay, what are some of the popular bands in these cities, right? It doesn't sound the same for everyone. First artist is obviously Travis Scott because I absolutely love him. Number two, Lil Baby. Number three was Lacey by Olivia Rodrigo because when that came out, it was on repeat. The app has created a sounding board for our community to reflect on their year. Spotify wants to be that hub for where people are sharing that really personal moment of like, what did I listen to this year? What was my year about? What did I love? You know, what did I connect with? Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Taylor Swift took the lead as Spotify's most streamed global artist this year, unseating Bad Bunny, who held the crown for the past three years. Well, are you good at predictions? This, the Clean Lakes Alliance is giving you the chance to predict when Lake Mendota will freeze over this season once again. All you have to do is guess the official ice on date for the lake. If you pick the right date, you'll be entered to win a $1,000 gift card. In seven of the winters since 2013-2014, Lake Mendota has never frozen over or has frozen over only within the first two weeks of January. It's good for the ecosystem for lakes to freeze and thaw. And so, you know, what we want to do is we want to see a good freeze. It allows different plant life to grow. It allows different plant life to die off. It's, it's sort of the, you know, the ecosystem and the cycle. When it doesn't freeze, we have that problem. And then we also have... You know, the warmer temperatures may mean more rain, which means more runoff, which leads to more cyanobacteria blooms. So the seasons are a good thing, and we want to see them continue to be cyclical the way they're designed to be. So make your best guess. Last year, Lake Mendota froze over on Christmas Day. Now, this is the 12th year of the contest. You can find a link to enter at channel3000.com. We could be in for a bit of snow later tonight. Gary now has your complete forecast. Actually, most of that snow will be this evening. Uh, three things you need to know in the forecast. That snow will stay mainly from Madison on toward the south and east, and that should end later on tonight. Then we'll see dry weather for tomorrow. It'll be mostly cloudy, but it'll be mild as well. High temperatures will be up around 40 degrees. And then another bout of snow or maybe some mixed rain and snow from later uh, tomorrow evening into probably uh, Sunday morning, maybe early Sunday afternoon. Uh, that'll end uh, late in the weekend. The snow that we have tonight is starting to shift off to the east. So you can see a, a more persistent band from around Watertown toward Edgerton and then uh, just to the west of Janesville. Visibility is lower the visibility, the uh, heavier the snow. Uh, Waukesha had visibilities earlier today down to about a half mile, but you can see now all the major reporting stations where it is snowing generally between about two and five miles. So the snow is not coming down very heavily. Uh, but as that snow moves eastward, some of that may mix with rain. A lot of it will depend on temperatures. Notice 32 in Monroe, 32 in Madison. 34 in Janesville. So some of the uh, roads are starting to get a little slippery as the snow sticks to them, but it's not a very uh, thick layer of snow. And then once the snow passes, those temperatures actually may rise up a degree or two and melt some of that snow later on this evening. Six hour future track radar takes all that snow pretty much east of Madison after about midnight tonight. 
Then we turn our attention to tomorrow night. This begins 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Notice temperatures mid-30s across southern Wisconsin. Precipitation initially in the form of rain or a mix of rain and snow. But as temperatures start to cool by a degree or two, we'll start to see a mix of rain and snow changing over to snow. The farther north you go, probably the better chances that you would see mainly snow, especially uh, later tomorrow night into early on Sunday morning. But notice those temperatures at or slightly above freezing. That should limit any snowfall accumulations. By 9 a.m., you can start to see the snow and rain breaking up a little bit. By noon, it's mainly lifting north and east of Madison. And by late afternoon, 4 p.m., the snow is pretty well over with. All the clouds will probably linger at least into sometime Sunday evening. As far as precipitation is concerned, rain or uh, the if you took the snow and melted it down into water, probably looking at about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of precipitation through much of southern Wisconsin, maybe a little bit more over southeastern Wisconsin. That will primarily be in the form of rain because it'll be too warm for snow accumulations. Future track computer models still keep the snow accumulations through Sunday evening, generally less than an inch. Now, if temperatures drop another degree or two, it's possible there could be some spots to pick up one to two inches of snow, probably in higher elevations and maybe areas maybe north and west of the Dells where temperatures could be a little bit colder. But for this evening, look for the best chances for rain and snow south and east of Madison. Again, those temperatures right around freezing. This is at midnight, uh, Madison at 31 degrees. Those temperatures holding nearly steady overnight, but the bulk of the precipitation heads eastward toward Milwaukee. And by 7 a.m., we're just dealing with cloudy skies and temperatures around 30 degrees. Planning your night across Dane County, look for a low of 29 in Roxbury, 30 in Verona, and 30 in Windsor as the snow comes to an end. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, Janesville, 35, Monroe, 32, but farther to the north and west, some breaks in the clouds will drop temperatures to 24 in La Crosse and 23 in Camp Douglas. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, but it should stay dry during the day with a high temperature of 40 degrees. And again, that snow uh, later on tomorrow night into Sunday morning, probably an inch or less, maybe a little bit more if it gets a little colder north and west of the Dells. First one, 7 to 10 day forecast. 40 on Monday with some sunshine. Tuesday, 38. We could see some snow shower chances Monday night into Tuesday morning. Then dry weather <clears throat> with temperatures back in the middle 40s for the second part of next week. Maybe some rain showers from Saturday afternoon into Sunday mixed with a little snow at night. To continuing coverage on the sudden death of former Wanakee football player Reed Ryan. The 22-year-old died earlier this week after going into cardiac arrest during a workout at the University of Minnesota Duluth. Now the Wanakee football team says they're fundraising money to create a scholarship in Ryan's memory. Shirts with Reed's number 99 are being sold with all profits from sales supporting the fund. You can also give a donation without buying a shirt. If you would like to support the fundraiser, we have a link to it on Channel 3. And still to come in sports, if Wisconsin wants to continue another title run, they've got to hunt the Hurricanes tonight at the Fieldhouse. We break that down next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Win a hand-paid jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells, and you'll have a chance to win a new Mercedes and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Draws, going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well-lived is a journey, and we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years, we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Culligan Water takes pride in being your local water experts. We live here, work here, and dedicate our lives to improving our area's water. We deliver the world's best water treatment and the industry's best service to you. Culligan Water, your local water experts. There's no place like home for the holidays, but it isn't quite the same when your house is cold and drafty. We want everyone to have the gift of a warm and comfortable home. So we're bringing back our best offer of the year for the holidays. But you have to call us before December 31st. So give yourself the gift that keeps on giving because you keep saving. Stop freezing and start saving. USA Insulation. Whatever the holidays mean to you, 
get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Win a hand paint jackpot at Home Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Downs, and you'll have a chance to win a new Mercedes and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Draws going on now at Ho Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Downs. News 3 Now's Call for Action team is here for you, exposing scams, mediating consumer disputes, and getting results. Contact us by phone or on channel3000.com. Call for action only on News 3 Now. We're taking action for you. Well, after taking care of business against Jackson State last night, Wisconsin Volleyball's journey for another national title run continues this evening at the Fieldhouse when the Badgers host Miami. The Hurricanes flew to the Fieldhouse back in February and got swept by the Badgers, but anything goes in the NCAA tournament. A win for Wisconsin spells their 11th straight trip to the Sweet 16. And tonight, right after News 3 Now at 6, stick around for another edition of the Wisconsin Huddle. Our Zach Hanley sits down with former Badger volleyball star Lauren Barnes, talking about what it takes to get that championship trophy. Winners of four straight, the Wisconsin men's basketball team enters a gauntlet on their schedule tomorrow, and it starts with the granddaddy of them all when third-ranked Marquette comes into the Kohl Center. The Badgers get Michigan State after that before traveling to Arizona afterwards. That's number two Arizona, but let's start with tomorrow's 11.30 a.m. tip-off. The Golden Eagles, well, they play at a pace that's unmatched in college hoops nearly, but for the Badgers, well, they're only worried about playing their own brand of hoops. Yeah, obviously they want to go, uh, and we've done that a little bit more this year, but, you know, we've always kind of had the, we got to be able to control the pace and do what we do and not get sped up too much, but not get slowed down as well. So, uh, I mean, I feel like we're really just kind of kind of play our ball. Um, I feel like every game we play, it's about us, and so that's going to be taking care of the ball, um, doing what we want to do, force them into tough shots, get the rebound, um, and really just kind of wear them out. So I, th I think at the end of the day, it's we got to do what we got to do. This rivalry is historic. Check out this picture from 93 years ago when the Badgers traveled to the Milwaukee Auditorium in front of a sold out crowd on December 30th, 1930. The final score in this one, Marquette 16, Wisconsin 14. I think we can expect a few more points in tomorrow's matchup. And after 32 years at the helm, Wanakee's head football coach Pat Rice called it a career today. The seven-time state champ, whose 886 winning percentage is the best in WIA history, announced his retirement. Rice said in part, I'm excited about the next chapter of my life and grateful for the experiences and relationships that Wanakee football has afforded me. Rice was inducted into the WCHA Hall of Fame in 2014. And an incredible career for that him. That is a huge loss. I know, you know, he, he's still young enough he can enjoy some yeah. years ahead, but he was always a, a joy to talk to and talk to football, Absolutely. talk about football too. So what a career he's had. Let's go quickly to Gary, final check. Yeah, some snow out there, uh, mainly south and east of Madison, but notice those temperatures temperatures right around freezing so it could be some slippery roads but most of the snow will shift east of Madison later on this evening. All right Gary thanks. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening and we'll see you back here at 10.